Hello, today on Rhyming Timing, we're starting something very exciting, cursive handwriting. You need a notebook and you need a pen, not a pencil. I'll explain why later. You probably have a notebook like this, and it's not really a handwriting notebook. For handwriting notebooks, there is a top line, a bottom line, and a dotted line in the middle. So what I want you to do in your notebook is use two spaces. Use two spaces in your notebook because you need to start writing big. Use two spaces and the middle line you're going to think of as your dotted line. That's what I'm going to call it, the dotted line. So let's start with letter A. I already showed you what to do if you made a mistake. If you make a mistake, you don't erase cursive handwriting. You keep going. Cursive handwriting is much faster than print. There's no erasing. You keep going and you just put one line through it. Just one line, maybe two. Not a big artwork. Okay, letter A. You starting at the top. I'll do one and then we'll do one slowly together. Starting at the top line, make a backward curve, slanted line up, join it, back down on the same slanted line and a little tail. I'm going to do that again. I'll do it over here. Backward curve, slanted line up, down on the same slanted line and a little tail. Okay, you ready? You want to do it with me? Pick up your pen. Put your pen on the top line, make a curved line down, slanted line up, down on the same slanted line, and a little tail. Did you try it? Keep trying it and keep practicing it. It takes some practice. And now I'm gonna do lowercase a. Let's try lowercase a. It's pretty easy because it looks just like uppercase a. Lowercase a starts in the dotted line. Lowercase a is gonna start on the dotted line, not on the top line, dotted line, the middle, your middle line. Starting on the dotted line, curved line down to the bottom line, Slanted line up, back down on the same line, and a little curl. I'm going to do that again. Starting on the dotted line, the middle line. Curve, slanted line up, down on the same slanted line, and a little curl. Now I'm going to show you what's really tricky once you know the letters. If you don't know the letters, you can wait to do what I'm about to show you. I'm about to show you how to connect some. And I have to rhyme, so let's do some from the Anne family. Now the trick is when you're connecting cursive, you do not pick up your pen between letters. That's the difference in print. You do not pick up your pen between letters in cursive. Watch this, Anne, A-N. Curved line down, back to the bottom, slanted line up. Now that little tail is going to become the side of the N. N is one hill, back up on the same line, and another hill, and then a little tail. And let's rhyme that with another easy cursive word, can, and can. C starts, lowercase c, starts on the middle line, and it's a backwards hoop as if you're making the A, but it doesn't connect. But that little tail of the C becomes the front of the A, and you come back down on that same curve, slanted line up, down on the same slanted line, now connect the N with one hill and 
two hills and a little tail and another easy cursive and word from Anne family is tan. So we have an, can, tan. I had a run. Tan. Starting on the bottom line, lowercase t. Up. Slanted line up. Back down on the same line. Curve. Curve. Now up for the A. Back down on the same slanted line. The tail becomes the N. One hill. Two hills and a little curl, and then you cross your T. You cross your T after. That's our first cursive handwriting lesson. I hope you liked it. The next time, let it be. Cursive is easy because you just go in prog progression of the alphabet. I hope you liked it. Keep practicing. It takes a lot of practice. Do you remember how long? it took for you to learn print. You started in preschool and pre-K and you weren't able to print quickly and easily until second grade. It took two or three years and you have to keep practicing cursive. I think it's important to learn cursive because you can write quickly and you can take notes for yourself and it looks nice when you're addressing an envelope too. So goodbye everybody. I hope you liked our first lesson of cursive handwriting letter A. Bye.